Hello everyone, my name is Amul and you are watching Shopify Expert so YouTube channel. So in this video, quickly going to show you how I have created this debut vintage theme to don uh, latest Shopify OS 2 uh, seven, which is don seven. You can see seven point zero point one. So the debut theme is basically a custom debut theme. It's not so. If you want to have a look how it looks, you can. I can quickly go ahead and review it. This is the home page. You see, there is a rendering CSS rendering issue with this debut theme with this latest Chrome browser. Uh, okay, so you can see there's so many things that are not by default available in the view theme. Also, this is the home page. If you go to section, okay, this is this takes you to the product section. Yeah, and and then uh, what else? Drop on, which will take you to catalog. Yep, and then uh, if you add one product, this is how it is, and then if you go to Okay, here on the card page, this is how it looks on the debut theme. And if you go to check out, hmm, you want to give everything. As it is okay so I can close this one you can already have seen it if you go to preview dawn 7 preview I also want to show a few things in the customizer dawn theme customizer upgraded dawn, dawn theme. so you can see this is how the dawn 7 looks and this is more cleaner modern it looks modern yeah cleaner these features are not available in the view I, I didn't notice it <laughs> because they were already here in the dot thing so uh, yeah it's good Catalog, what happens? Nothing. The client wanted to keep everything, all the product page or section page titles, all the templates, title section, center text, and nothing much. If I go to product page, the one thing I to add to this darn thing was this product description accordion which is HTML details and summary and details tag so uh, I used this custom app basically private app to add few section because the client did not want to have lots of custom code on the darn theme they want to keep all the section separate so that i suggest them them to do this way because this is more safer for future upgrades you can see i've created this description which is here this is section coming from the private app and and, and if you go to home page you see i'm using this uh, private apps section of few places you can see two or three three times on this so this is image section in this private app and this gives you lots of options so you can manage 
adding top bottom background color if you want to change it select the image center crop the image from the center top bottom uh, image height width you can manage easily uh, max width basically this is um, image width for big screens uh, the heading heading overlay if you want to keep overlay or normal which will take it on the very top like this it's it's, it's taking it longer you can see it right there uh, then uh, I can take it on the screen on the image heading color can be changed heading size heading top bottom so this is basically uh, yeah so top is basically if you take in the number in the negative that will become just opposite but yeah. top text so this is the text the button top text uh, text overlay yeah normal more like the text uh, the heading size of the text button the, the button text uh, text size for button text size increase it a little this because it's coming from the sections the private section a bit slower sometimes you can select the image button text in color and background so this is what you get with this uh, image section private uh, private uh, image section here it's like different you don't require everything so you can just disable all the things and take this heading to the top of the image on the top just above the image you can see and then you can see I'm using one more time so this is completely a different sort of image and section but I'm using same section uh, to serve all these requirements and uh, this I could achieve only with this lots of options uh, being given to this section all right so this is what this is how and what I upgraded this theme uh, what else I think I should just increase the font size of the text the button text where is it anyway so if you go to uh, collections list it all it is okay uh, if you go to collections all it should be like products collection or product something i'm talking about this slug this is our sections list oh i missed this one the client want everything in the center all the headings anyway so this is not available on their menu so just forget it okay uh, all right this is custom the list and if you go to collection default collection there are six collections everything's in center with the filter on oh you see i had to create this banner section which keeps everything in the center because they i can easily do it every can do, everyone can do it but uh they wanted to keep these custom sections or any section that requires any customization separate in a, in a, a private app okay and so if you just go to sections you can see i've got few sections that i created product description image judgment review image section banner section collection banner which is basically here collection banner mm, uh, i should uh, uh, it's not it's not banner it's not giving it only Inject.
anyway so i'm just going to leave enable country region selector enable language selector see we don't have language selector so enable language oh payment we don't have this these options are not set for the theme or the store basically anyway so this is what i had to do to to, to upgrade from debut vintage to dom ways to architecture with all the customization with the help of private app ready so as you see this card the dawn 7 theme card this is how it looks uh this is all customized the custom text if you go to checkout you can see again this is custom text which you can add to the themes language Alrighty, so I think we okay. You can also add the background image, which is not available in vintage themes. Well, delete one of these. So, yeah. Oh, I got one more. And then this this is where you get empty. And this is card page. Oh, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment. If you'd like to upgrade from vintage to latest OS, you can contact me at support at cubemint.com. I will leave my email in the description. And if you have any question, leave in the comment. Thank you. Good day. Bye.